Hello, hello. I'm Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper, and I would like to share an auction haul, which consists of Yadro, Hummel, and Waterford, and also hauls from three thrift stores that I went to yesterday. I went to five, and I did get video coverage of two of them, but my GoPro was not cooperating, so I have three stores that I got some amazing stuff at. I'm gonna do this old school. I'm gonna hold it up, I'm gonna show it to you, I'm gonna tell you what I paid, I'm gonna tell you what I think it will sell for, and hopefully you will gain some knowledge and maybe be able to find some of the stuff yourself. So let's take a look. All right, so I'm going to show you this auction haul first, and I know I said I wasn't going to do auctions, but I got an email, and it basically said this whole auction was Yadro, and Yadro is very, very expensive, and it is hard to get Yadro for a good price as a reseller that you can still make a profit on it, and unfortunately, I... Unfortunately or fortunately, I only won 15 lots. I believe eight of them are Yadro and the other seven are Hummel and Waterford. And most of these did go too high. So as a reseller, you definitely have to be careful, set your limit and say, I'm not bidding if it gets above this amount and just back off. It's really easy to get carried away and in which you won't make as much money. So I bid on over 50 lots. I won the 15 and I'm going to show them to you. So first up is this really cute, and if you see figurines like these, and I am gonna show you the bottom, but this little girl, I paid $76 for her. I paid $76 for her, but I do have her listed, and I am going to be popping some screenshots up here. I have her listed at $337, so I expect a little over a $200 profit. Here is your marking. For her and you can see she is desa with yadro i have heard that nao figurines can go for less but i've actually sold quite a few nao for good money and i believe i was told nao actually stands for yadro's factory so they were more mass produced and i got these cute little they're either ducks or geese i'm not really sure what but their lace is absolutely immaculate there are no chips and these I paid $11 for and I have them listed in my store for $50 so I expect about a $30 profit on these little geese and then this one I absolutely had to get if you see this is a Hummel it's really cute this is actually a nurse little station this is like the little hospital I will show you the bottom it does say healing hands it is from 1999 it comes with this cute little nurse so i have these two pieces listed in my store and mine is the only one currently on ebay these two are listed for 150 dollars so i expect to make about an 80 dollars profit on that and then i'm going to show you these two waterford pieces and you'll laugh um of course i had to get the double dolphin here i actually did not pay very much for these dolphins i only paid 23 dollars, and i expect to get over 200 dollars for them and these do still have that original waterford sticker you can see there and they're just a really nice piece and then i got this little waterford angel i actually only paid it eleven dollars for her she doesn't have her sticker but she does have the waterford marking there on the bottom i don't know if i can get it you can kind of see it there in the light um it is at waterford in the bottom and i expect to get about fifty dollars for her there are some listed lower but i am going to try and get a higher price this next piece actually came with the box this is a bigger piece i did pay 76 dollars for this and i have it list it at 300 it's this beautiful dancer here there are no defects this one is a nao piece and i have it with the box for 300 dollars, and it is over 13 inches tall 
next this really pretty angel with the heart there and I paid $76 for her. I do have her listed at $412.50. And that'll leave me about a $300 profit. She is actually the only one listed in the US, um, which is always a good thing when you have the only one. And she unfortunately does have some very, very minimal breakage there on her flowers that I did not see in the auction, but that is okay. I still think I should make a good profit on her. Next, this is Trinket Box. I got this for $16. I saw it listed both like this as a Trinket Box, and then I saw these listed individually as bowls. So they're kind of multi-purpose, I guess. They could be little bowls. And these are Yadro Privilege. There is that. And I'm hoping to get about $50 for this little Trinket Box, so about a $25 profit. Dresden Piece. There she is. I think I have her at about $70. Again, I will have the screenshots up. And for her, I paid $21. And there is her. So it says Simone. And again, she is the only one like her listed on eBay in the US. I believe there are some overseas, but no other ones. And a big thing with these Dresden pieces is checking for damage on the lace, which hers is perfect. So no damage at all on her. Next. This one, and I don't remember the brand, but I will put a screenshot up there of the comp. And these, they have it as Yadro style. And I only paid $12. And I think I have them at like 40 or 50. They're really cute little like chimney sweep with the ladder there kissing the girl. Really cute. And there is the marking on the bottom of that one. X is my highest price and I'm hoping to get about $900 for her between eight and 900. I paid up, I paid $360. She is absolutely amazing. Is in perfect condition and she is beautiful. So there's actually only one other listed. I believe at 900, I believe I probably came in around 800 cause I want to get that first sale. There is her flower bouquet. This is her, she is over 13 inches. Pretty heavy, very, very beautiful Yadro piece here. And the detail on her dress is stunning. And she is actually signed by the artist. So there is that for you guys. And you can see the number there. And this is the first piece of Yadro I've had that's signed. So since there's only two listed, hopefully this won't take super long to sell. And if she does sell, she almost pays for my entire haul. And there's this little girl with the bunny. She is really cute. Her flowers are in perfect condition. And I bought her for 38 and I have her listed at 187.50. So you have to pay up for these Jodro pieces, but even if you have to pay up, a lot of times there's still room for amazing profit. And she, there is the bottom of her and her name is heavenly love so she's really really cute and should be over a hundred dollar profit next is another really cute hummel i have learned these are called scapes so they're like the you know landscape for the hummel dolls this says cafe and there's the side and then it's got the little window with the pie it says strudelhaus you can see this was originally $120, which is kind of crazy, right? There's the price tag. And it comes with this cute little doll. And this one I paid $32 for. I have it listed for $150. And it is the only one listed as well. So I've got the market on quite a few of these pieces. And I'm very, very happy with that. And that this I got because I hadn't won many and knew I was going to have to have my mom drive anyways. So this is just a Armani Society. I paid 11. I'm hoping to get like 25 for that. And then the last of the Yadro pieces is probably my favorite. Let me show you. This is really cool. It is Geppetto making Pinocchio. Very, very cool. He is missing his paintbrush, unfortunately, but every other one except for one on eBay is also missing the paintbrush. So I paid $116 for him and I have him listed 
$412, hoping to make about a $200 to $250 profit on Geppetto and Pinocchio. So now I'm going to show you stuff from the thrift stores and an antique mall, and I will let you know where it is. So this first set of stuff I got, I don't remember the exact name. It's a Ministries thrift store in Crystal River, Florida, or Homosassa. And not Homosassa, Florida, I think. So when we were in line at one of the other thrift stores, my mom was talking to someone and she's like, oh, have you been to the Ministries thrift store? And mom ended up telling me and we went there because why not? So I got these cute little carved wood Jamaica fish. Really cute, just little souvenir. And I paid $3 for them. I expect to get all 20 for those. And I got this really cool Guy Harvey mug. Guy Harvey is pretty popular. So I only paid a dollar for this and I should be able to get about 15. I have not run comps yet though. This is a really, really pretty peacock ornament. And this one I paid a dollar for, I'm thinking probably about 15 to $20 for that piece. And then I got this cool Tanala mug really neat flowers there. I love Tanala. This one was a dollar as well. Hopefully I can get about 15 for that one. I think this is my favorite piece from that thrift store. It has really cool owl Tanala vase. I did pay $12 for this, so I paid up. I'll only be able to get 30 to 35, but I got it because I like it. So I am totally cool with this sitting on my display shelf while it waits to sell. And there is your signature on that one. This thrift store, the ministry thrift store, especially for collectors, had amazing pieces. Unfortunately, most of them were priced a little too high as a reseller to be able to make profit. But they had some amazing glass and like vintage and antique collectibles, like the best selection I've seen at a thrift store, to be honest. But most of them were priced a little too high for resale, for resale, not for collectors. So this is a really cool peacock vase on it's a peacock and a bamboo stick. It is not marked. I paid four for this and I'm hoping to get 25 to 30 for this. I think this is just a really neat piece. And the last thing from the Ministries thrift store is this Betty Boop scrub top. It's really big. It's a 5XL and bigger scrubs sell pretty well. Their tops were only a dollar. So there is my Betty Boop 5XL. This one's not very faded. It's still pretty bright. And clothes are actually half off, so I only paid 50 cents. And I'm hoping to get 15 to 20 for this. And that is it from that thrift store. And then next, I'm going to take you to Fireflies Antique Mall. Really cool. It looks like a small little shop from the outside. And you go in and it's like this big antique mall with over 30 vendors. And I talked to the owner. Sorry I didn't get her name. I'm really bad about that but she is super excited to have me film there. And unfortunately my GoPro wasn't working, but I really would like to show you guys a few things that I got. And like any antique mall, the prices are gonna be all over the place depending on the vendor. So I was really excited to find this really cool glass paperweight here, really neat. And it was only $4. So I'm hoping to get like 25 to 30, maybe even more once I comp it all. I got this mask. Isn't that cool? This is only five bucks. Definitely hand painted. Got the bird there. Just a really cool mask. Paid five. Again, hoping to get like 20, 25 bucks for it. But that was a really great price, I think. More Tanala. You guys know I love Tanala. There's actually more coming up from the store. So this one does say Cozumel, Mexico. This one was actually only one dollar. Not too shabby. I should be able to get 10 to 15 for that some more Tanala. You guys need to tell me what do you think this is? So we thought like maybe a cat but then I was like no it kind of looks like a llama. So I think my final verdict is a llama. You tell me what you think. So this is a really really pretty piece. There's the face and there it says it's a cat but I don't think it's a cat. Now I just saw that. <laughs> it says it's a cat. It doesn't look like a cat. It looks like a llama. It's a llama. They say it's a cat. Anyways, it is marked Tanala. Paid five for this. Hopefully I'll get 20 to 25. And then I got these. 
these are some really cool lacquer it's kind of crazy i think that's probably in another country's um currency it says 198 dollars really pretty lacquer box here and then whoa <laughs> then it's got six of these really cool lacquer coasters with a purple velvet background so it's a set of six with the holder i paid eight for these hopefully i'll be able to get about 30 dollars for this and then this really cool frog i've had a couple of these frogs and they sell really fast so it can either be like a sponge or a spoon holder it does say cozumel it is hand painted and i believe i paid three dollars for this one they sell for about 15 to 20 dollars this was my big spend for that store and i think this is amazing check that out isn't she cool she's so cool so, cool. so this is obviously hand done pottery this is from iceland so there's your signature um, I believe it is Aldis. I found one bowl like this. Whoa, she's upside down. One bowl like this that sold for $49.99. Not exactly like this, so I'm actually hoping to get a little more. Um, I did pay $16, and I'm hoping to get maybe $60 to $75, but I think that's a super cool piece. Up next, Swanee Thrift, the one that is 10 minutes from my house. And I was actually surprised. A lot of you commented and said you wonder how fast they would go through inventory there was quite a bit of new stuff so i was i was very pleased so first i got this bimini bay this is a fishing vest i paid two dollars and it should sell for about twenty dollars it's a size extra large and then i got this honda goldwing bag I actually saw a sold comp on this for 28 dollars and i paid two dollars for this which was a really great price the 28 was free shipping but there are no more listed so i'm probably going to list it at about 35 dollars plus shipping and we'll go from there and then i got this for myself this is actually a belkin four point four port lighted like little usb thing and i always need these i use them here in the shed so for a dollar definitely going to pick it up always look for stuff you can use while you're thrifting because saving money is earning money right and then i got more coasters <laughs> these were five dollars they're really cool look republic of dominica so dominican republic this is leather really cool like they say tainos there and there are five in this set I paid five for these and honestly i'm hoping i can get about 40 these are really really nice like the set the holder is all leather with the little monkey there and just a cool set and i think this is napco you guys can tell me if you're a little more familiar but i believe this is napco usa just a little um either could be like a planter dish garden or could be something to bake i think more likely a planter and i paid two dollars for this hopefully i can get like 15 to 20. and then this i saw this and i was like oh it's such a home run and then i comped it up but i still like it this is really cool art glass so I saw it like listed both ways, like this as a vase and as this, it is an oil lamp and it does have a sticker. I don't know if you can see it, but it is Tarnow Poland. I did pay $5 and actually the only sold comp was 10 bucks, but on worth point, there were some sold up to 30. So that is what I'm going to try and get. Either way, I think this is a really cool piece and I'm kind of sad that it doesn't sell for more because I feel like it's worth more. That happens sometimes though. All right, so this is a really cool like either incense or they've got wax in it, but look at how cute. And this is only a dollar. Their prices at Swanee Thrift are absolutely amazing. If you're close, definitely go check them out. They're super friendly and it's, it's a really big, nice store. And then I got this book for myself because I don't have any research books. So I'm starting my book collection. It was 50 cents and it was about antiques. So I need to make time and just flip through. That way I kind of get myself a little more knowledgeable about some antique and vintage pieces that I might be missing. And then there are two of these. They are painted on a little canvas. Actually, this is Coppercraft Guild. I had to move. There's a sticker underneath. These are Coppercraft Guild um, frames and paintings. So I paid $2 each 
for these. I am going to list them individually, but I should be able to get 20 to $25, and these tend to sell pretty good for me. All right, I'm wrapping it up for Swanee Thrift was these really cool these are hand done they are by Waleen Henderson and I've got to look her up but I got this one this one they kind of match I haven't decided if I'm gonna list them together or separate but paid two dollars each and hopefully we'll be able to get about 15 to 20 dollars a piece for these two so that is the yadro haul i will tell you i spent just over a thousand and i expect to get about 3800 making it close to a two thousand or so dollar profit on that auction haul that stuff is all listed already if you'd like to check out my ebay store the link is below in the description you can look what i have for sale you can also click completed and sold and see items that i have sold look at the titles to get some ideas for yourself for your listings look at how i do photos things like that are helpful if you are new so i do appreciate you guys watching i hope your weekend was great don't forget tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be live doing members eBay store reviews. Those are only if you're a member. So if you haven't checked out channel membership, hit that join button below and you can learn more about that. And I also will have a video tomorrow. I was going to do a what sold today and then I'm like, I don't feel like showing what sold uh, over the last week. It would be screenshots. So I thought it would be a little more fun to do a haul with you guys. So tomorrow will either be what sold or it might be the glass haul. I, I don't know what it's going to be, but I'll have a video tomorrow out for you guys as well. Enjoy what's left of your weekend, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.